Heidi Legends, welcome back. Hope you're all doing good. Okay, so before we get into HTML5 and CSS3, I want to set up our CSS page. And for those who don't know what CSS is, it's all of the... Let me click on a website. See all the positioning and where stuff's at, the distance between two things. Why is this over here? If we didn't have CSS, all this stuff would just be scrunched to the left and there'd be no color. It'd just look like a... Kind of like a prehistoric Microsoft Word document. So... The CSS is the artistic approach. If you're familiar with CSS, you already know what's going on. I just wasted 20 seconds of your time. But we need to set it up. Now, there's two types of CSS. There's on-page CSS. We can do something like this. Close that out. And we'll say for our paragraph text, fonts, size, we'll call it 16 pixels. And then down here in the bottom, we'll give it our HTML P tags, and we'll say, ba -ba 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 -da -da, this is our paragraph text. Works for me, right? Or works for you guys, right? This is our paragraph text, exclamation point. Let's close that out. That's not an exclamation point. And let's save that. Let's open this up in our browser. Right click on Google Chrome. This is our paragraph text. Is that even 16 pixels? How do I know my CSS even worked? Well, let's change it up to see if it worked. 32. Save it now. Now let's reload it. Okay, it definitely worked. Okay, so it's definitely reading our CSS. But I don't like having my CSS on the page because we're going to have so much of it. Our, our code is going to be super messy. It's going to look like Garfield's bedroom. I'm not into it. So what I want to do is I want to set up an external style sheet that goes in our HTML5 root folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to go to TextMate. Let's click New. And I'm going to save this as in our HTML5 root folder. Style. And then with the directory of CSS, Cascading Style Sheet. Let's go ahead and save it. Just like that. And we'll put our p-text in here. We'll say p-text font family no font size did we say font family or font size font size 32 pixels and we'll save that but how do we get this style.css page into our index.html page well first thing I'm gonna do is get get rid of this because now this is dead weight because we have it on our external page I need to source it in and we do that in between our head tag so underneath meta or above it doesn't really matter I'll just put it down here is I'm gonna go ahead and link in an external style sheet and follow along kinda of like a a link tag an href let's go ahead and what do we call it? I believe we call it style.css and I'm gonna give it a little bit more friendly information to help the browser render it properly no rel, we can rel or relative and we'll just let the browser know that it's a style sheet this information I'm typing in right now is may or may not be optional. Actually, I think it is optional, but better safe than sorry. Let's make sure our browser browser renders our CSS perfectly. Text.css. And is this for a screen? Is this for an iPhone? This right now is for the screen. And let's close it up just like that. Doesn't need a closing tag. Does not need a closing tag. Just keep it like that. And let's save it. Let's see if this is still 32. It is. Okay, so let's try something else. We'll say that our paragraph text is font size 32 and our font family is Helvetica. Helvetica. Save that. And now this font should change. There it is. Okay, so we just created an external CSS style sheet in our HTML5 root folder. So hopefully you guys followed along. Good luck with this. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.